It's not all tough. Uh, today is July uh, 13th or 14th, I believe. Alright, back down to the old uh, arrowhead hunting grounds here. So, Let's see what we can find down here. The water's all the way down finally and probably a little bit lower than usual. So, alright, it's all tough. Alright, I don't know how I spotted this from about eight feet away. But, oh, I got a nice little, nice little tip right here. Yeah, and that would have been her beauty if she would have been whole. You can see she broke off down here on the bottom. Man, that's got some nice, nice flaking there. All right, it's all tough. Let's see what else we can find. All right, it's all tough. Today, July 16th, and uh, I've been doing a lot of overheading. And I mean, this is where the old ice houses used to sit in here, actually, back in the day. I mean, I just found that token. Uh, farther down the beach there the other day if you remember uh, let's see I found wheat pennies out here and everything else my balls but we're gonna bring the detector in here now and we're gonna swing for a little bit see what we can find all right we got plenty of lead plenty of cans plenty of melted aluminum so you know how fun that is all right it's all tough all right it's been a little bit so far I dug this uh, made a sinker here and a couple of memorials and I just dug this it looks to be a 1910 a 13 or an 18 wheat penny she's pretty green crusty I mean I'm surprised I can actually even see part of the date on there so all right it's all right we can find some black and silver out here if we get lucky it's all tough yeah, just dug me another wheat penny I mean, they're pretty rough coming out here. I mean, this one looks like another teener. I really can't make out the date. I see a one after the nine. I don't know. Got to be some silver here somewhere. Tons of melted aluminum in the pouch already. Yeah, it's been a bit. I just found a really neat looking drawer pull here. So you can see the pile oh, she's just full already. Alright, let's keep on hunting. Alright, lo and behold, I just dug a 1907 V nickel. And got it right there out of this little spot right here. It's getting a good bang of signal. It wasn't very deep, so I mean I'm working the edge of the wash right here, you know, something like Chicago Round would be doing. And there you have it. She's pretty crusty and beat up, but that's definitely a 1907 V-Nickel. Alright. That's all tough. Alright. All the stuff I got today on my couple hour old hunt here. There's all the trash, tons of slag and what have you. Uh, junky pair of shades. And got a right foot too. This must be some kind of older uh, Roman foot soldier or something by the footwear no, I'm not really sure but there's a foot uh, it's a little bit of clad and that buckle and got some old lead let me get the macro going here there's a, a showbiz pizza place token Took a little bit to figure that one out. Really can't make anything out on there. Just mm, a few weeks. There's a vehicle here. And the river is pretty hard on these coins, so you see it's 1907 there. Yeah, a couple of these, uh, 1919, and, uh, 44, and, uh, I think I got a 1912 there, so I'm not really 100% sure. That's it. Here's an old weight. Yeah. Another one. Must be old decoy weights here. Yeah, that was a pretty wild find there. That's a big old one. Hand hammered. 
but let's see here's my little little bottom corner right here over our head the, the tip would have been up here and this is just a little corner and notch down here for the fletching and here's the tip of that other one the heartbreaker there and this in here I wasn't sure if it's a blank my buddy, he seems to say that it's uh, it's an arrowhead. And the tip's just a little popped off right there. But, I mean, it looks good. That's why I kept it. All right. But not all tough. So the next hunt. Oh, and these uh these ones here are snagless. I haven't seen these in a while, so both of them are. So I thought that was kind of interesting. All right. And a spoon handle. It's not all tough.